Yeah, Just I like remember that. Yeah. Beast. <laughs> That was a mean one, and we are on our way to, our way to game one. Of course, a gentleman, the PS2. What is new, really? Exactly, trying to punish that dash attack, but distance given from zone is just enough. Right now, we're going to see what they can do. Explosive Flame keeping him at bay, and already, Zone's doing a much better job at keeping Robbie from coming in. Let's see what they can do. Trap him on the platform. There is nice and safe for the disjoint. Once again, good enough to do it. Ooh, slash coming out, sending him out. Zone, looking pretty battered right now. It's Robbie with the 0%, looking nice and fresh for a man who woke up half an hour ago as oh, pulled by an air shield out. coming out, but that could be dead as a grab comes through, but not quite enough. Uh, Zone has a, a little bit of mileage to make up here, but nothing, he, nothing Zone cannot do, of course. We have seen him make these comebacks plenty of times, but Robbie playing very, very patiently. It's extraordinarily hard to approach him when he's like this. Shulk with a big, big sword. And Robbie with the, the smash or buster, you don't want to get hit. Because that will be death. Just like that almost was. He goes deep off stage, but of course tries to recover. Ooh, oh, up pulled smash. out the up smashing. Man, oh, Shulk. Oh, no. Man, Shulk. So stuff down till is perfect. Let's see if Robbie can find a kill here. Don't have time for a down, down air, even as he's trapped on the platform with an air. Speed is here. Are we going to play it with a little bit of spacing? How many runs directly into an air as the shield and comes out? Bit of a shield. panic option. Forward throw. That is going to send him nowhere. And But Rob is going to send Zone off the stage, but not quite into the blast zone. Playing around the shield here very well on ledge, but gets hit with the dash attack. Invincible, it can just go through stuff, you know? Ooh, oh, excellent nice. read, read, read from the zone there, just to keep the pressure on now as it's quiet, get the back air. And I really like zones, like, adaptation with shield art, right? Because you've, like, you've got to get used to shield art if you're going to play against it, because it's not, like, it could be a blessing in disguise, and you can also use it to your advantage. Absolutely. And so what Zone did there, the first time he was caught out by Shield Art, when he went for a down throw, could get a follow-up. But this time he goes for the down throw, knowing that Robbie can react out of it, just and just allows Robbie to mash, and just goes for the runaway run back in. Very, very nice stuff. Ro Robbie with Smash Zone at a very dangerous set. Zone, I've noticed, uh, he really right, likes to get up grounded. Movement reads like rolls, dashbacks, and just dashes straight across the stage in order to get in a grab or a dash attack and just win neutral that way. Got that but right. Robbie is now in the lead with 127 up and speed are on deck. Now we got Buster zone on ledge, but zone is going to take back with a very nice landed forwarder. Zone with the grab. Oh, nice, push. nice confirm. Very, very nice back air. Oh, very clever. Yeah, very, very clever indeed. Using those teleport cancels to his advantage now. Rising there, coming out as well. Let's see what we can do here. Barely just shoves him away with the, the neutral B there. Air dodge back on stage, but missed the grab. That was a little bit sur surprising for Palutena. Just a little bit dodgy. Looking fairly even right now, but. It is Robbie leading the set 1-0. Apologies, going to update that now. There he is. Ah, with one point on the board. Zone with the adaptation. Definitely slowing it down a bit, which is uh, rather ironic against Robbie. But hey, I respect that. That's just going to beat him out, sent him up. Jump to get a nice safe recovery. Very patient, but just breaks the zone with a dash attack. And we are back to neutral here. We'll got that right. This is going to be a back throw instead. It's a down throw with a full back air. Shield coming out. Bored backslash. Yeah, very perfect spacing from zone there Avail to avoid that disjoint. Smash is here. See what we can find. It's the forward air comes through. Can Robbie That's find a kill? Very big fair. Very big fair indeed, Basil. As it is going to be Robbie taking that stock. Man, he took that early. Robbie is sitting at a. Very uncomfortable, 149% here, almost 150. Zone on his last stock here. Robbie could take this with his stock if he plays more carefully. But yeah, Zone can. has to adapt maybe a little better, but this is still relatively even. If he takes the stock, we're right back to even. 
but Robbie doing a very nice job at at spacing out with that big sword that Shulk has. But yeah, nice back back that's gonna take it. Don't think Robbie quite expected that. Looking fairly even now. 155 left on the clock. So you can do it. It's the Nairs. I'm gonna rack up a little bit of damage for our boy Robert. Definitely. Very nice backer. Oh, Airslash is a little bit too aggressive now as the shield comes out. Absolutely getting a little bit a little bit greedy with that, but the back throw into the Buster Arc change. We are back to neutral here. Cypher Zone to play a little bit of a range game, going aggressive now, avoiding those down tilts. Well, those down angle forward tilts, even. As, see if we can get a rising there. Not quite that, though, as Ooh, Robbie up. pushing his patience a lot. We never favor the explosive lane, but gosh darn, man, Zone is so good at outspacing this. So it's whether Robbie can keep on the aggression now. Can we get a grab? Nope, instead, trying to read a roll. Just sedans and avoids it. A ledge drop, but not gonna do anything about it. And sends Robbie back off stage. He's sky high in the air, but lands back with the speed art. Ooh, looking pretty even, but it's Robbie with the advantage now. See if he can finish it all here. As the up tilt comes through, just a little bit too greedy. Back through comes out. A very, very greedy up tilt. I gotta agree, he's gotta play a little bit safer and chokes on the recovery. Not playing safe down there, Vassal. As Zone ties up the set, 1-1. One, one. We are on our way to game three, ladies and gentlemen. We got Robbie and Zone. Even, even games apiece. Who do you think is going to take this? This is a very tough one. Because um, I'm as big a Robbie fan as any. But I've never seen Robbie have a clean set. And that's not a bad thing, right? I think the guy is fantastic at adapting. I think the guy is so, so good at picking up, at, you know, putting gas in the tank when he needs it. But Zone is just the king of consistency, right? They have always been such a reliable player. If I had to put money on it, I think Robbie might clutch it. I think Robbie, fair, fair play. What about yourself, sir? You know what? I might just agree with you. Yeah? I wanted to say maybe zone, but uh, Robbie kind of choked on the recovery there and caused his own downfall. So Robbie, if he may, maybe plays around the, uh, around the recovery a little more carefully and tries not for any haste. Hasty uppies or up to like he did like he did in the in this set previous. He might just might just be able to clutch it. That is true. Once again, we are back to PS2. Let's see what these fellas can do. Dash that coming through. And the jump to just avo avoid that scenario altogether. Now we got shield art. Tries for a pretty cheeky up to to. to Catches landing on the shield. Good dash attack to just completely destroy that down tilt. Playing pretty patiently here. Brought his own try tries to chase him up, but manages to get him off stage. Robbie back to center. Has zoned in the corner now. Just some basic mouth with the neutral beat here and with the side beat. Just to make sure he does not get too comfortable with any approach that might do. Six. Sends him back. Off stage goal. Now we're back to center stage. We are back to neutral. This is what we all enjoy seeing right here. Very nice up to We are on the smash. The stock could be taken too, but nope. Back to speed. We want to get in and out as quickly as we possible. It's true. Looking very dangerous here. Robbie in the advantage state, but definitely losing out on percentage now. See if he can do it. Gets the back air, gets the dash forward. Can zone push it all the way? Explosive flame keeping Robbie at bay just a little bit. Down tilt just to outspace him. But if you're talking disjoints, baby, it's Robbie with the sword. Shulk is the king of disjoints. That forwarder 
literally covers everything out. Like that forward smash is hilarious, to say the least. As Jump comes out, just to give himself a little bit of a mix-up vertically now. Oh, that was really, really good in terms of short hop speed. He just hop, hops it with Becker. So you're looking mighty, yeah, yeah. mighty, even right now, rage on both of these characters. Who's taking the first stock battle? It is going to be zoned with the dash tag. Robbie, very, very high percent, but zone sitting at 122. Robbie with smash. Doesn't go for the ooh, he does go for the grab. And that's gonna take a clear back even. Robbie back on speed, of course. He wants to avoid zone with the invincibility, but doesn't manage to do it. I mean, he's back off stage. Oh, that could have been very bad. Excellent patience, excellent. Job at just not holding himself clear there, Robbie. Not gonna be beaten out by any off stage nonsense. Double, double back air, very nice. <laughs> it, it is double back air hours. <laughs> it is truly. Robbie on the buster. He wants to get in this damage as quickly as possible. With the speed, he might just be able to do that because he is sitting at a pretty uncomfortable deficit here. Right back air sends him out. He needs to find a nice string. But first of all, he needs to make it back. Reverse back air is enough, but the gallop attack a little too greedy. Very nice grab. Oh, goes to the shield. Adaptation now. Dash attack not quite enough because he's just, <laughs> just tiptoeing forward. Gets the back air as well because the falling there. And I love how Robbie plays when he has speed. Because instead of just pushing forward, he will push forward and then just empty hop and then push forward again. Just oh, to mess up your timing. It's very scary, I gotta say. Ooh, that comes through again. So many oh. pump. Oh! For the down throw back here. Very nice. Zone with a very, very nice leader. It has a whole stock ahead. Sitting at a very comfortable 39%. Robbie is switching to the shield arc. He does not want to use any combo from zone at all. Robbie needs to approach this from a, from a different angle that he's been doing for the whole set because this could possibly be it for him. Oh, good counter coming out. With a counter. They're just barely flipping, and the back is gonna send him off stage. Robbie with the smasher, and is gonna just wait for his opportunity to strike. That's what they can do now. Grab coming through back air. Robbie's got a lot of work to do now. As the back air beats him out, speed coming in. See what they can do now as the up tilt comes in as well. See if he can kill off the top. Not quite enough as the falling there is enough for the explosive flame. Could be the choke you need. As he's sent off stage, can he find the down smash? Forward air coming through, forward air coming through. Robbie's going to be the one sent off stage now. He... Oh, this is very, very dangerous, but manages to recover pretty well. He needs to play the rest of this game absolutely perfectly. He cannot afford to take anything else, but Robbie just grabs the other way. Nero's gonna send him not not far with that shield arc. That's true, trying to get a poke with the shield, but... He tried Unfortunately, something. Zone. Zone's gonna take it. 